Okay. Hi, welcome to MAS.S68, which is a course offered in the spring of 2023 at MIT. Um, this is just a quick intro to the conceptualization of the class. These are our wonderful co-instructors, Jade Kabara, Siyash Bue, Shane Longpre, Hong Jong, Hope Schroeder, Doug Bieferman, and Deb Roy, the PI of the MIT Center for Constructive Communication. So a quick journey of course descriptions. We originally wrote a description of this class that we thought tried to capture the spirit of the class. We were really interested in looking at how recent advances in LLMs touch related research areas, including HCI, social sciences, and beyond. Um, we wanted to frame this class as a way to explore the exciting research advances, as well as get our hands dirty with um, some research projects and workshopping work in the field. We did think that this sounded a little dry and that maybe this could be improved with the help of our new friend, ChatGPT. So we had ChatGPT rewrite it to sound more exciting to MIT students. You'll notice some changes in bold. So the first line is now get ready to dive into the world of cutting edge communication technology. Um, don't miss out on this opportunity as well as some additional information. We did another round of editing and we liked a few things that ChatGPT suggested. Um, the framing of the second sentence, like with the breakthrough of large language models, communication has taken a huge leap forward. We thought this sounded really exciting and kind of gave urgency um, to the feeling that we also had of having some urgency around exploring these topics. Um, we sent this human and AI edited version uh, to Deb, who edited down for a more academic audience. So he toned down some of these um, edits from ChatGPT and some of the edits we had as well. But interestingly, um, the model took the word exciting and the audience of MIT students and introduced these terms that um, are very plausible ways to attract that audience, including, you know, get a thrilling front row seat and the included mention of communication technology. We took those edits and we toned them down, and we think that the final product was clearer and more engaging as a result of this back and forth human AI collaboration process that we had with ChatGPT. But some questions came up as we were doing this. One question is, should we have disclosed our use of ChatGPT as an editing tool? Um, and we started wondering, you know, how is this different than disclosing or not disclosing the use of other uh, more widely accepted or older editing tools like Grammarly? We are wondering if this affects trust. Does it affect trust with our advisor? Um, that the first version that he saw where we had been back and forth with ChatGPT already, we didn't disclose that and perhaps we should have. And now we're bringing these questions to the forefront with you because maybe you've wrestled with these questions. How do we think about human AI collaboration? How do we think about these model abilities? And those are some of the things that we wanted to work on here in this class. So. The model advancements um, of the last few months open a ton of exciting possibilities, but they also really require evaluation. So the models themselves, the systems that contain them, and the societal impacts, both positive and negative, that they could have. Um, so we kind of conceptualize this class in terms of a few things. So first, we have the model, GPT-3 and its friends. We have all the outputs it may create. And then we have the way that it's used in user-facing systems like assistance, chatbots, et cetera. We can use the models themselves and its outputs for social science research, or we can use the outputs as inputs to other processes. So we thought this whole continuum was something that we wanted to dive into with this class. So with the model itself, what are these models and how should we evaluate them? The outputs, how do we evaluate their outputs? And how will people interact with their outputs, not just humans and the machines or humans and the models, but also at scale when we're in a network environment of humans interacting with these models and then interacting with each other. So the class structure starts with looking at the models themselves. So we do an NLP overview of their models and their evaluation and what we think are some of the urgent questions in model evaluation. Um, the first class is a introduction to the history of the models and how they work. And in the next few weeks, we will be taking an NLP view on evaluating the models, their capabilities, and how humans interact with them. Future topics later in the course will be about using models to learn about people. So for social sciences, evaluating how models interact and affect people, and some discussion about how this technology can impact society for better and for worse. 
obviously there are a ton of different research areas and fields implicated in what we are aiming to discuss in this class, including but not limited to NLP, HCI, computational social science, communications, ethics, and transparency. So we're really excited for this mixed backgrounds class where we will dive into looking at these exciting LLM advances and talking about what research areas are most urgent moving forward. Thanks.